everyone, so today's video is going to be my second update for my skincare project pan. And I did make some really exciting progress for this update and I am going to be rolling in a few new products. So first I'm going to go through the products that are still currently in this project. So the first one is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. And I still haven't used this. I feel like now that it's summertime and it's kind of really hot, my skin isn't as dry so I don't really need a hydrating face mask. But I will try to use this by the next update. Next is this Dr. Brandt Needles No More ID Puffing Gel. And I have used this 10 times since my last update. And it definitely has gotten a lot thinner. So I am slowly making my way through this. But this will probably last me a while. And I do enjoy this. It feels nice on the skin. But I don't really notice a huge difference with my under eyes. The next product is this Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So I have been using this to remove my makeup and it was about halfway full last time and I don't know if you can see but I definitely have been making my way through this and there's not too much product left so hopefully this will be done either by the next update or the update after that. And I do really enjoy this product. It's a nice more gentle cleansing balm and it removes my makeup really well. The next product is this Dr. Brandt Recovery Sleeping Mask and this is just a really nice hydrating mask. So usually I'll just apply this right before I go to bed and I do really enjoy this. There's not too much product left in here. As you can see, the bottle is getting really thin. So hopefully this will be finished by the next update. Now the next product is this Dr. Brandt Vacuum Cleaner Pore Purifying Mask. So this is a really nice mask to really clear out your pores. And I have pretty much used this up, but I feel like I could get maybe one more use out of this. So I might try to use this one more time and then it'll probably be done. So this will be finished by the next update. Now for all the products that I used up, the first one is this Neutrogena Oil Free Moisture for Combination Skin. And I did use this as my daily moisturizer, so I used this 10 times since the last update. And I do enjoy this as just a gentle moisturizer for the daytime. The next product I finished up is the Sephora Mattifying Moisturizer Sunscreen. So I use this more for when I wasn't wearing makeup and I was going outside just to protect my skin. And I do enjoy it. It keeps your skin kind of matte so you don't get super oily when you wear this, which is good. But this is also a super old product, so I'm glad I was able to finish it up. Also, it feels like there still might be some product left in here, but nothing comes out of the pump. And I'm not going to cut it open to get the product out. This is just super old and it's really not worth it. Next is this Black Bamboo Charcoal Peel Off Mask. And I only used this once since the last update. And the update before that I also used it once. So this only took me two uses to finish. There wasn't much product left in here at all. So I'm glad I was able to finish this up. The next product I finished is this Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream. And I only got two more uses out of this since the last update and I have squeezed the life out of this as you can see but the update before that I used it five times so it only took me seven times to use this up and this was almost gone so I did get more use out of it than I thought I was going to but I'm glad I was able to finish this because these products do expire and then the last product I was able to finish is the Asprey Purple Water Body Lotion and I did only get two uses out of this so, I mean, it didn't take me long at all to finish this, but I'm glad I was able to use this up and now I can get this out of my collection. Now for the new products that I'm rolling in, I do have five here. So the first one is another one of these Sephora mattifying sunscreen moisturizers. And this doesn't have much product left in it, but I'm hoping I'll be able to finish this by the next update. The next product is this Drunk Elephant Physical Daily Defense. So this is like a tinted sunscreen and I do really enjoy this product and I just want to finish it up because I know these do expire. The expiration date says right here it's November 20th, which is a pretty long time, but I just want to finish this up, make sure it doesn't expire. The next product is this 4th Ray Beauty Turmeric Face Milk and as you can see I have used quite a bit of this. I usually use it before I do my makeup almost as like a primer and I do enjoy it. I just feel like it doesn't make too much of a difference so when this is out of my collection I definitely won't repurchase it. Now we have a couple of hair products which I just wanted to include 
even though it's not technically skincare. But the first one is this Wen Sweet Almond Mint Remoist Intensive Hair Treatment. So this is like a hair mask and I just apply this. You can leave it in overnight. I just leave it in until the next time I wash my hair really. Especially nowadays, I'm not really going anywhere. So I will just leave this in until the next time I wash my hair and I find that it is really conditioning and moisturizing for my hair. And then the last new product I'm rolling in is this Verb C Spray. So this is just like a spray for your hair that gives you kind of those like beachy waves. And I haven't used this very much, but it is pretty old and it's just a little mini size. So I just want to finish this up and get it out of my collection. So that's it for this update. I will have my Project Pan playlist linked down below along with all my other playlists so you guys can go check those out. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see more videos from me, make sure to subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.